Hey, how's it going? So, Wanagi and me, where's she? There she is. Little Wanagi's right there. Anyways, we're going to head out here. There's some beehives. We're going to walk wide around there. But uh, we're going to go down to the creek down here and we're going to fish up because that's where the hatch happens. So we'll walk hopefully up and be able to walk the bank and be able to fish. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, it may be either successful or we may have to come back and go the other way uh, if they have fencing along the creek. But I didn't see any and there's hopefully a path from everyone walking it at nights now. So it should be pretty easy to follow and uh, hopefully we'll get into some fish this morning with spinner fall and stuff. We'll show you when we're on there. There's a few fish rising once in a while. It hasn't the hatch or the spinner fall. They're still all over the bushes here. I can see them all over the bushes. You see on the tips of this bush here. Look. See on the tips there? Look, these are all brown drakes in here. I don't know if you can see, but they're all on the tips of the grass here. There's thousands of them. So just when it starts warming up, those fish will come out a little more. And we're wet way, but it's gonna be, we might cross, we'll maybe even hop this fence. We'll see what it looks like when we get over here. One. So, we're just hanging out right here. <laughs> Me and Wanagi, we're just hanging. Yeah, we're in actually, this willows right here, is full of elk shit and little places where the elk have been sleeping here at night they come down from the mountains it's safer down here and they park themselves along the creek here get drinks and and then be probably four or five in the morning they split and go up in the hills here um, but uh, yeah we're just hanging out waiting a few of the there's this thing is full of brown drakes right now the the ones that have already hatched out and they're just hanging out waiting I can see them like everywhere I look, there's brown drakes on the tips of the grass, uh, thousands and thousands of them. So uh, what we're doing is we're just hanging out, waiting for it to warm up a bit. And when it warms up, they'll all go up into the air and start mating and messing around and landing on the water and the fish should get pretty active. So we're, uh, we kind of hiked in. Uh, we got a ton of water all to ourselves. Uh, there's some huge browns up in this section. There's some nice deep holes. So we should get some action today. Hopefully we'll catch some nice fish. Uh, but otherwise we're just having fun and she's so happy. She loves this. She's out just running through the tall grass and she's having a good time. So that's all that really matters anyways, right? Having fun. Doesn't matter if you catch a fish or not. Just being out in nature. But this pretty amazing place, Silver Creek Preserve. This is Point of Rocks and South uh, area. Uh, it's uh, surrounded by uh, ranch land and uh, they grow alfalfa and stuff like that. They have for hundreds of years here. Well, not hundreds, but probably 150 years or something. And Jack Hemingway, the famous author, Jack Hemingway, he actually fished this uh, and uh, he's buried up in Ketchum at the Ketchum Sun Valley area up in the cemetery up there. Uh, he has some family still here. I actually knew one of his sons, Jack. I used to guide with him out of Silver Creek, and uh, he was uh, he was pretty pretty kind of cool thing to know that guy uh, and meet him. Um, yeah, iconic, and what a fly fisherman. He has passed away since, but uh, he's a legend here for fly fishing. He followed in his dad's footsteps for trout fishing, for sure. Hey, could we not chew on my new shirt? Hey, stop, don't, let go. God, like a piranha. Anyways, all right, well, hopefully it'll turn on here shortly. Ground, Wanagi had a good time. She went swimming a couple of times, had some fun, and uh, we uh, had a couple fish on, but didn't land anything, but it was fun. Got some takes, and we're too slow to react on most of them, so, uh, but it was a good time, so we're gonna go get lunch, and take a nap because tonight will be another episode of the brown dray catch going off and it's actually going to be up by my camp so i don't even have to go far i can just wake up go out and fish right in front of my trailer today but we're going to walk up here to the truck and uh, we'll catch you later this evening huh Wanagi? you know what hail sounds like <laughs> look at outside look at the water it's just getting pelted Hailstorm. Poor Anagi's probably like, what the hell's going on? Oh. 
she's in the truck because she's got ticks. We both got into some ticks today. Uh, where are they? Here, look. See those? Those are ticks. Those are ticks. I got a bag of about 12 ticks that I pulled off of my body. Uh, none of it had been embedded. It was just while we were fishing there and down in the grass and stuff. We must have got and sat in a oh, tick nest or something. I took a big old peppermint. Uh, it's like this, uh, what is it called? It's called Bronner's peppermint soap kind of stuff. And it's made with uh, peppermint essential oil, basically. Man, I got bad hair day going on here. But it's basically Bronner's uh, essential oil. And it's so I did lavender and peppermint and covered my body and let it basically dry on me. And, uh, and then I searched my clothes, my pretty much my whole body, and I pulled off that many ticks. It was crazy. But uh, I think we got them all. So. And there's not much Lyme disease up here in Idaho, but fingers crossed, it's still scary. And then I actually pulled, I think I pulled two off of Wanagi. And then we went into the to this town and went to the veterinarian store and I got her. It's an edible thing you eat once a month as a dog and they do it for weight and it, uh, it repels uh, ticks and uh, fleas because just where we're at we're out in the bushes in the grass and she's running around and I would hate for her to get a tick and get sick or something so uh, so she's sitting in the truck for at least a couple hours I brushed her out and stuff uh, and that's how I found the two that were on her but they're so small I mean these things are look at this look at how small they are here you can see see how small they are I mean look at there's my finger they're tiny and there's a whole mess of them down in that corner right there they're creepy they're just crawling around but uh yeah i'll probably um i'll probably have to brush her out or check her later see if any get in her but as usually it takes about for a human anyways usually is the normal is it's about 24 hours once they get on you before they embed in you so if you get them off pretty fast you're probably all right and safe and i didn't have any embedded in me i just had to pull them out um so uh hopefully the same with wanagi too i brushed her out and then we went straight into town and got her that thing so and she was swimming too so she was soaking wet and swimming so even if they were on her they may have come off her once she went in the water and stuff so who knows but i think she's okay but we got some lightning and thunder rolling through that's what's happening which is pretty much gonna dust the, the brown dray catch because any that were in the bushes just now just got pounded by hail and rain and generally the the hatch doesn't come off if it's raining but um what time is it right now it is it's four o'clock so there's still a few hours uh that it could hopefully this will pass and clear out usually afternoons we get some rain here and thunderstorms is normal light and lightning in idaho but actually uh today is monday i think so Today is Tuesday, so I think though it says uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is thunderstorms. I'm pretty sure that we have some weather coming in. It might be even raining all day tomorrow and the next day, uh, or at least during not heavy rain, but it said at least expect it. So uh, we'll see what happens though. Uh, you never know. Uh, if you want to know what the weather is in Idaho, wait 10 minutes because <laughs> it changes constantly. Uh, but pretty cool. Lightning storms are rad as long as you're indoors and not out with them holding up a graphite fly rod like a, 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 a lightning rod basically. A fly rod is a lightning rod because the graphite is a conductor of electricity. So yeah, you don't want to be standing out there holding one. Anyways, alright, we're going to eat some. And, uh, I'm tired. I need a nap probably. Alright, peace out.
hey how's it going so anyways brown drake hatch is going off right now but i just flew the drone you've seen it like so many people it's insane like crazy like people just stacked on top of each other anyways check this out people just flailing the water out here i'll do a zoom a little better hold on one second but there's probably like just for where i can see i can probably see at least 15 people on the water just flailing towards the fish but you got all the brown drakes spinners are bouncing around you got a huge swarm of brown drakes moving up the river um, they might be emerging uh, down river a little bit and then the fish are definitely keying on them and there's actually emergers coming off the water you can see the they look like little raindrops basically but i'll zoom in a bit in a sec so right here in front of me there's huge couple of fish rising right here down here there's a big hog but there's a guy off that island right there I, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl but he's just slogging through the water making it all muddy and chasing all the fish out and then you got a guy on the other side of the bank who's just slapping the water and he walks back and forth slapping the water in front of everyone uh not to be mean but it's like come on now <laughs> all the etiquette goes out the door uh, pretty much everyone's all ah, brown drakes i gotta get them <laughs> and i enjoy it it's amazing hatch and it's just funny because it just is such a zoo uh, and this place especially is known for that i'm i'm just waiting for it to really pop off right at dark but we got a huge storm you can see out over here this big dark mass here and there's lightning and all that and it's headed this way so I'm betting probably in the next hour it's going to be raining and lightning and everyone's going to disappear pretty quick. <laughs> so will the bugs, but tomorrow morning will be epic here. I'll get up nice and early probably uh, and uh, fish this because there'll be fish everywhere and the bugs will be on the water. So we're just going to hang out, check it out. Might wet a line, but we're waiting because there's just too many people. All the way up that corner all the way down and around as far as we can see and then around the corner down there there's probably another 30 people just lined up they're everywhere it's crazy 